choking. Ethan, are you there? Hello, Gwen. It's not Ethan. It's me, Teresa. Did you hear what I said, Gwen? It's me, Teresa. Ethan, we have a bad connection. I couldn't hear what you said. I said this is Teresa. Oh, I just went through a tunnel, Ethan. I should be able to hear you better now. Oh, I can't wait to be with you tonight. Hello, Ethan, are you there? Hello, are you there? Hello? Can you hear me now? Gwen? Uh, yes, I can hear you. You sound out of breath. Are you choking? What? Choking? Uh, no, I'm fine. Uh, it's good to hear your voice. How soon will you be here? Oh, I'm not sure. It's snowing pretty heavily. It's really coming down. You promised a surprise would be waiting for me when I got there. Will I be very surprised by what you have for me? Oh, yes. You'll definitely be surprised. Ethan, did you turn the cabin into our own little romantic hideaway like you said you would? Oh, absolutely. It's a lover's paradise. And it's waiting for you. Candles, music, champagne on ice. I want this to be the most special night we've ever had together, sweetheart. Are you going to kiss me passionately when I get there? And then lead me to the bedroom and make wildly fabulous love to me? That's exactly what I plan to do. Oh, I can't wait. I can't wait to see you. I can't wait to get to the cabin. I hope I'm right about my surprise that Ethan's going to propose to me tonight. Oh, it's all I've ever wanted. Maybe I have been overreacting about these incidents with Teresa. Ethan swears he loves me and only me. I should, uh, I should just trust that and stop worrying. Oh, still, I'm glad that Teresa is back in harmony and nowhere near Ethan. Oh, there's a sign. Good, I'm almost to the turnoff through the cabin. Here I come, Ethan, ready or not. And I can't wait to get my surprise.